Horse Tuhi, Kanakraka Charlene Nijme. I greet you in our native Chochenyo language. Good day, my name is Charlene Nijme, and I'm the chairwoman for the Moekma Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay Area. I want to thank you for those of you who did attend the ceremony. It was a beautiful experience. This was, that was my first opportunity to invite different leaders around the world and around our country to come and open this space up for us. You know, to lead us in a, in, and take good steps forward and take good steps act, and good actions and steps to making our world a better place to live for future generations, our children's generation, their children's generation. It's important because we all live on Mother Earth together and we should treat it as such. I'd like to start with our land acknowledgement. We would like to recognize that while we come together for SOCAP 2023, we are gathered within the ethno-historic territory of the Yalamu, Aramai, Sason, Lamchin, Ramayatush, San Francisco, Costa Nolan, Costa Nolan Ohlone speaking groups, tribal groups of the San Francisco Peninsula, who were intermarried with the Puchun Tamian Ohlone speaking tribal groups of San Mateo and Santa Clara counties who were also, inter also intermarried with the East Bay, Karkin, Harkin, Irgin, and Tubin, Tubin Kasun, Chochenyo, Ohlone-speaking tribal groups of the Alameda counties and Contra Costa counties. These are the direct ancestors of the lineages enrolled in the Muwekma Ohlone tribe, whom were missionized into Mission San Francisco, Santa Clara, and San Jose. This greater Bay Area region, this Aboriginal territory, includes the ancestral, legally unceded lands of the ancestors of the Muwekma Ohlone tribe, who are the successors of the historic, sovereign, federally recognized Verona Band of the Alameda County. It is vitally important that we not only recognize the history of the land on which we reside, but also acknowledge the Mawekma Ohlone peoples are alive and flourishing members within the greater Bay, San Francisco Bay Area and broader communities today. This land was and continues to be of great significance to the Mawekma Ohlone people and other familial descendants. We recognize that every citizen residing within the greater Bay Area has and continues to benefit from the use and occupation of the tribe's Aboriginal land since the founding of the city of San Francisco in 1776. While our Aboriginal lands have become home to some of the wealthiest companies in human history, our people whose ancestors have continuously occupied these lands for over 10,000 years continues to suffer from gentrification. We have been, we, we ask ourselves and ask the greater communities, how are we to remain on our homeland with affordable, unaffordable housing, cost of living increases, unfriendly policies, and the lack of federal recognition? If you are interested in sharing or knowing more about the Mawekma, please come and find me and share your networks and knowledge and become an advocate for our Muwekma Ohlone people. So please go to our website, muwekma.org, for more information about our struggles for federal recognition, our struggles for repatriation, and our struggles to stay on our 10,000-year-old homeland. We respectfully request that everyone who lives, works, or visits the city and county of San Francisco and surrounding towns to be respectful of our Aboriginal lands and natural habitats and consistent with our principles of community, diversity, and inclusion, strive to be good citizens on behalf of the Mawekma Ohlone people. I also want to bring to our attention the plight and struggles of all our indigenous brothers and sisters around the world and ask the great spirit to bring peace and bring justice for all peoples. We see the horrific events in Palestine and Israel unfolding in real time. How can it, how can it not remind us, 
us indigenous people, of our own brutal history of colonization and genocide. We Native Americans understand more than most the effects of what is happening in, the, in, the, in front of our very eyes. Our own people still struggle with gener generational trauma from the past atrocities committed against our ancestors. There are about 400 million indigenous people around the world today in over 90 countries. But where, wherever they live, indigenous peoples are among the poorest and most marginalized communities in their societies. If we are to continue to hold the moral high ground, we leaders around the world, we leaders in Indian country must not sit silently while the world's indigenous continue to struggle to be free. In the words of Martin Luther King, no one is free until we are all free. Thank you, and again, on behalf of the Mawekma Ohlone tribe, we hope you celebrate, honor, and stand in solidarity with all Mawekmas. Mawekma means the people, la gente, in our Chochenyo language. Indigenous tribal communities, where their struggles, where the struggles to reverse the adverse colonial legacy suffering affecting all people of color in the greater Bay Area, California, Americas, and around the world. We gather and reflect on our sacred land of the ancestral and historic Muwekma Ohlone tribe. Hove.